Hey world, this is Andy Around Town. I am at CarMax in Brandywine, Maryland. I'm here to test drive a BMW X3. Um, this has been an interesting experience. It started out horribly um, with a salesperson that was not happy about us coming to simply test drive a vehicle. Um, but we spoke with the manager and filed our informal complaint and proceeded with test driving the car. But anyway, I'm still excited about the experience. I came with my family and we had a great time. So what do you what do y'all think? This is an X3. So above it, I guess you would have the X5 and the X7. Seven. But the dashboard looks very similar to what you have. The control panel looks very similar to what you have. Yeah, that's right. There's an X4 too. Yeah. So Something doesn't seem as luxury. That's what I was gonna say. Yes, I don't see. Does it light up on the door panel? No. You can change the lights. No, with the X3, you're, you're probably not going to find those extra fine right there. Even the quality of the, yeah, the, the dashboard isn't as high. The dashboard here is fine. Um, these things are pretty much standard. Um, yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if this recharges. Yeah. 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 Ye
the so. option. Yeah, it looks different than online. Like regular but radio. It's 2021. Right. So it, it has a serious XM. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, like, do that. Satellite radio. Just FM, AM, and satellite. That's fine. Built in Spotify. Oh, that's good. So you got Bluetooth capability. You can mirror, I guess, your mobile device or whatever to appear. Uh -huh. Personalize your name. So it looks, it looks pretty much standard. Standard stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a touchscreen? Can you touch it? Yes. Okay, it is touchscreen. Okay. Yeah, we should keep the car. Alright, Darrell, this is your time to talk. So what do you think about this car? Good. Hmm? Good. Good? Good. What do you like about it? Good. Everything is good. Everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Settings and features. I'd like to figure out. So this is a plug-in hybrid. No, it's not. I'd like to um, yeah, investigate that a little bit more. Charge plan. Because I don't understand how that works. It drives smoothly. And I mean the navigation of the. This is, it's pretty it's pretty easy to, to use. I mean looking at the at the five series, I mean it has a little bit more buttons, a little bit fancier, but it's a little bit more complicated. This is a bit the menu, navigating through the menus of it's more simple. It's 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 more streamlined, so that that's that's a plus for this as well. Let's talk about the e-drive, what is that about? battery control so it looks like you could set a target I guess with mm -hmm. any type of thing that's battery charged mm -hmm. if you always charge it to its full it's gonna damage the battery but what we saw before what this allows you to do is to to minimize like if you had an 80 or 85 percent you can charge it at a sufficient level to go from place to place but it doesn't it would, retain your the life of your battery so that that's a pretty cool thing for it to have and it has the other uh, driving modes like other bmws the sport it has the comfort and it has the eco pro which should be interesting if it also seeing that this is a hybrid eco pro you could really get I anticipate you would get really good gas mileage on that. So I think I saw this is a um, four-cylinder. Uh, it's a in, probably an inline four-cylinder. In fact, a lot of the the five series are inline four and generates good power. Yeah, so I think my yeah my five series is four-cylinder and it's pretty good on gas. Mm -hmm. Has apps and pretty much standard suite. Suit, suite. Okay, it's having a problem staying. <laughs> <laughs> Something unstable. <laughs> uh, problem staying on the apps. It only stays for like a second and then it goes away. Well, at least it's good if it has the Android and the, um, and the Apple. Apple. There's only one Android. I'll just drive down a little bit and come back. The gas a little bit. Ain't nobody out here. I know. I'm always nervous when I'm driving someone else's car. A car that doesn't belong to me. Yeah. Acceleration is pretty decent yeah. for the limited. 
the acceleration when we went to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll turn around and I will step on it a little bit. More. All right. People will always say that about me. They're like, you buy these high profile vehicles and then you drive on calm. Miss <laughs> um, Daisy is actually driving. <laughs> assertive driver without being reckless uh, this may not be your cup of tea in terms of acceleration unless we change the mode okay would you put it on you're sport? in sports mode now let's do it oh okay yeah that's faster okay <laughs> well depending what your price point is <laughs> even if you're an assertive driver once you put it in sports mode okay the, uh, that made all the difference in the world yeah the level of acceleration <laughs> would be acceptable for you to to get this as your entry level crossover SUV vehicle. Yeah, yeah. When you change that option there, that made all the difference in the world. Okay. Is it still on sport? Did you change yes. it back? Yes, okay. man. Burn rubber. What's that? Burn rubber. Wait, now, now there's a car in front of me, so I can't really burn. And they're and driving then, in two lanes. Yeah, he's splitting lanes. Literally. Really, dude? Handling's nice. Acceleration's good. Nice little weather app. All right, I'm going to go back now so I can take um, like some videos of the vehicle and look at the trunk size. That's really, when I switch over to um, an S SUV, if I wanted to do that, what I really care about is like more storage space, like if mm -hmm. we're trying to buy a piece of furniture or something. Well, this already has that. Like, Yeah, I would definitely yeah, care about having what you would get in a sedan. I'll park it in a spot and not in front so he doesn't come out to harass me. Yeah. I'll just park like right here. So a, they had more trees around here. I know. We have some shade. Yeah. Yeah, sweetie. I want to see if it to be on the right side. What's on the right side? What's the steering wheel? Oh, you want us to be driving opposites today? Take some pictures and videos of the outside. Oh, and today I will be out here. Okay, this is the BMW X3 plug-in hybrid. Nice trunk space. You can fold the seats down in the back. So we're done with the test drive. Um, not super impressed with the vehicle. It handles well, like a normal um, BMW. I mean, it's the ultimate um, driving machine, as they say. Um, however, I think I was a bit underwhelmed for the price. At $53,000, I would have liked um, some more 
pizzazz. I guess on the inside, it wasn't quite as luxurious as I would have liked. Um, decent amount of space, decent amount of storage. Um, it was an X3 and not like an X4 or an X5, so I don't know, but it's a nice car. Not super impressed, not super motivated um, to purchase this vehicle, but it is nice. And if someone gave it to me, I would surely drive it and be happy about it. All right, everybody. Toodles.